Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the fight with between um, Black Lightning, which he gave us. Um, this fight comes from me. First time for both of these ladies. And um, let's get to it, shall we? And one of them, I hope to get educate a lot of people on more. But the other, everybody should know. Uh, so I put the likes of um, Misty Knight from Marvel Comics versus Chloe Quinn. Like I said, everybody should know her. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, Misty Knight versus Harley Quinn. Um, I'm betting a lot of people have no idea who Misty Knight is, so this is why I'm here to educate you on who she is. And she's a very underrated character, but very, very cool character. Um, so I will get into her right now. So, Misty Knight, uh, this is... This is actually uh, Iron Fist's girlfriend, uh, Danny's girlfriend. Uh, she was a former cop that, in the line of duty, she lost her arm uh, during a bombing. She was an exceptional cop, high class in all her skills, martial arts, um, marksmanship, detective skills, you name it. Uh, when she lost her arm, Tony Stark replaced it with a bionic arm. And her arm has went through different variants. First it was just a regular arm, prosthetic arm, and then it went through a lot of variants to what you see now. Um, she is also a member of the Heroes for Hire, and she's she's been in a very good league with her girl, the samurai girl known as Colleen Wing. Research her, if you don't know anything about her. Um, Misty is basically what you can take of, you mix all those strong females from the black exportation days, like Foxy Brown, Cleopatra Jones, uh, and anything Pam Greer touched in the 70s, this is basically what you get from her. Um, Misty is a tough as nails, you know, takes no takes no shit character. Like, she, she's very much bold and strong-willed and knows what she can do and what she cannot do. Um, that bionic arm of hers gives her a lot of skills, a lot of things, you know, attributes which you would expect from somebody with a bionic arm, superhuman strength. But of course, it also has aspects of Iron Man's repulsor rays. Like it has different beams of like repulsor blasts that come out of it. Like it can be like a fire blast, it could be a freeze ray. It depends on what the variants of what she's using. Um, like I said, she only has superhuman strength in that arm. Like, she can only lift with that arm. Uh, it, it, it doesn't work, like, through her whole body. But she uses it very well. But it's her martial arts skills that really showcase what this girl is capable of and how popular... Well, I shouldn't say popular, but what she can do with it. Uh, when her and her girl, Colleen Wing, get together, they're like the female version of Batman and Robin. Or, in a way, yeah, you could say Iron Fist and Luke Cage, you know. Uh, Misty definitely is a character that I truly love. And it's so underrated that that's what makes her even better. Because she surprises a lot of people. And once again, like I said, if you don't know her, research her. Uh, to really get to know who this girl is. Uh, and to get to know her a lot better. But like I said, with the martial arts skills, the marksmanship... The detective skills, I think she would give Batman a run for her money in detective skills. Yes, I said that. Um, she's an exceptional, very exceptional. And I love her. I very much love her. She is still currently a, a member of the Heroes for Hire. She even leads a group, actually. She's becoming now, in a way, the Oracle of the Marvel Universe. Um, and I don't, I don't mind that at all because, you know... Like I said, Marvel 
doesn't really use her as much, but when they do, they use her to her strengths. And pretty much her strengths are what I just talked about. And uh, that's something I love about Misty. Once again, I I'm gonna, you hear me say that a lot, guys. I love her. I truly do love Misty um, very much. Misty Knight, uh, or let me use her real name, Mercedes Knight. Very cool character. All right. So we move on to her combatant in this, and I think everybody, everybody knows who this woman is, and uh, <laughs> that's none other than Harley Quinzel. Now, yeah, I'm using, now this is what she looks like now in the 52. Now, her origin has been a little tweaked. Uh, she still was a, a psychiatrist at Arkham, and she still fell in love with the Joker, but she knew the Joker was lying to her and all that other stuff. But when one of her her colleagues tried to plagiarize her work and steal her ideas for her book, that kind of set her off. Uh, Joker threw her into the same bat of acid that he fell into, so hence the transformation there. Uh, I've noticed that Harley in the 52 now is more dangerous than she's ever been when Paul Dini was writing her. That's the way I look at her. She is psychotically more dangerous she's a part of the suicide squad and uh <laughs> harley has this really sat satistic attitude of like well well if she dies she dies i don't care like it, it, you know it's fun to me i i could care less uh very unpredictable very unpredictable and that's why I put her and her, uh, Misty together. Is like this is a basic detective versus the sadistic, sadistic uh, serial killer, or just you know just all around badass going at it. Uh, like I said, so so unpredictable in this fight. Uh, so unpredictable now in terms of what she was. Uh, she is a variant of weapons, uh, definitely knives, hammers, you name it, um, but Harley kind of scares me now than ever because of her look, uh, but she's just all around devious, um, but she works well with this new Suicide Squad, and, um, you know, with her, with Sportsmaster, and Deadshot and King Shark and um, who else is on that team? Because I don't read Suicide Squad. Damn, who else is on that team? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm forgetting the other person. I know there's another person. Being, but being led by the bitch, Amanda Waller, <laughs> uh, Harley is definitely um, psychotically, <laughs> psychotically crazy. Um, yeah, she's crazy. But behind that craziness is a all-around brilliant mind, if you want to go that route. Um, but I don't think everybody will go that route because of who she is. And um, that's very, very, very <laughs> scary. Um, because you, you don't know what she's bringing to the dance. You know, she may come with an, a knife. She, you may think she's coming with a knife, and she's bringing out two machetes. You know, like, think of it like that, you know. it's it's That's the way I think of it. And, and oh, God, that's pretty much what kind for Harley. Um, so, like I said, this fight, these two ladies meeting for the first time, and... A brilliant cop versus you know you got a former detective still with all her detective skills that she's learned over the years against Harley Quinn somebody who belongs in the nut farm you know in the nut house in an asylum uh, Misty has to really think outside the box with Harley and even that won't work um, Harley is I can see Harley just having a lot of fun with Misty, like, like, I love your arm, like, can I, can I play with it and stuff like that, and, 
You know, she would just really want to, like, just just have fun with Misty. Um, but Misty's going to really have to have that take no prisoners attitude. Like, okay, if I'm going to have to beat some sense into her, okay, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, but I, I don't see Misty killing Harley, but I can see Harley trying to, definitely. Because um, Misty still has that aspect of a cop and, you know, and just all around heroic deeds of what she is, you know. Um, so I don't see them killing, but it does come down to skill. Misty and her martial arts skills and all around marksmanship and everything like that. And Harley with that just sheer unpredictability. It plays a factor, guys. But uh, I leave it up to you. Misty Knight. Or Harley. And once again, guys, if you don't know, especially Misty Knight, please do the research. Uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed in knowing Misty Knight. Uh, she's a very cool character, and um, yes, she is. She was the former fiance, and still on and off girlfriend for Iron Fist, Danny Rad. Uh, but and everybody should know who Harley Quinn is, you know. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fight. I had a lot of fun coming up with this fight, really. Um, and I will see you guys later on, uh, with the next two fights for bracket number four for section 10. You guys know the slogan, battle on.